hello and welcome back in this video i'm going to show you how to solve the differential equation dy dx equals to exponential y minus x for x in the range 0 to 15 with the initial boundary condition at x equals to 0 the value of y is 0 so we want to find how y behaves in the range of x from 0 to 15 where we are told that at x 0 the value of y is 0 so the exact solution of this differential equation using analytical approach is y equals to x so this is a very simple equation that can be solved analytically but in in many cases some differential equation cannot be solved analytically except we have to apply numerical approach so the main essence of this video is to show you how you can employ final difference method to solve a first order differential equation so in the final different method the derivative at any value of x is given by y x plus h minus y of h over h h is positive is a value close to zero so it's an approximate value so we make our h to be very very close to zero we can, rep we can re represent y of x plus a as the next value of y at the value of x that is y subscript i plus 1 minus the previous value of y at the value of at the previous value of x divided by h that is dy dx is the previous value of y at the previous value of x as the, um, the dy dx is given by the new value the next value of y at the next value of x minus the next the previous value of y at the previous value of x divided by h so by substituting this dy dx into this equation we will have this value equals to this then if we cross multiply we we'll make y subscript i plus one the subject of the formula will end up having this where we say that y i plus one is y i equals to exponential y y i minus x i where now the x y we have a subscript so what we want to do we want to start from i instead of i plus one we want to start by i the only way to do is is to make i plus one to be equals to one we do this by setting the limit at i equals to i minus one sorry this was a mistake it's supposed to be minus one that is i minus one this is supposed to be i minus one it's supposed to be i minus one so if we replace the value with i in to replace i minus one we're going to have y i minus one plus h equals to this i minus one this so by replacing i with i minus one here we end up having y of i equals to this so this says that the next value of y is the previous value of y plus h exponential the previous value of y minus the previous value of, of x for i range from one two three up to n the n is the number of linear space value of x in the range 0 to 15 so we want to have a large number of value of x within the range 0 to 15 to that n is the upper bound of x here is 15 minus the lower bound of x which is 0 divided by the h so that the next value of x will now be the previous value of x plus h so the value of f h is normally choosing to be close to zero so that we have a good approximation from this equation here so the initial boundary condition is y of zero is zero that means the first value of y has to be zero it's the same thing as saying y not equals to two to that zero here means the not here means the first value of y has to be zero because it's our initial boundary condition so let's see how we can solve this differential equation in python making use of the finite difference method like i said there is a mistake here it's supposed to be i equals to uh, i minus one so that this minus one will cancel this plus one we are left with i the same two up here we have i minus one so sorry for the mistake uh so yeah so let's move now to the visual studio code to implement the final different method in python so there are five steps the first step we are to import the required libraries the second step 
the input parameters for the, this problem. The third step, the initial boundary condition or conditions. Then step, the step four, the for loop, because this is where we apply the for loops to these values, these two equations, this and the other one, this. So these are the two equations we we'll use to update the value of y and the value of x. Then finally, we need to plot our solution to see our answer. We know the exact solution is y equals to x. That means it's going to be a straight line that passes through the origin. So let's see what we can get. So let's import the required package. So we need to insert import numpy as np. So in this case, we are saying it's a numpy is a package. We import it and then we call it np for short you can give it any name the next thing we need to import a package that will do the plotting for us so we need to import matplotlib.pyplot then we call this one as plt you can call it any name but for short call it any name we call it plt for short then we need to look at the function here. We have exponential here, so we need to look for how we can get exponential. So there's inbuilt function into Python, which you call the math module. Import from who says we're not from the let's go back from from the from math module inside the Python. But we are to import exponential which is exp so that's exponential if this is sign then we can put command we can just put sign if to say this is cos we have cos we can put cos if we have exponential we we'll put exponential if we have log we put log if we can, we can have log we can have cos we can have sign separate this 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 functions name by uh, comma so but in this particular problem we have exponential so put exp which we are going to import this m math module is inbuilt into python while the math matplotlib and the numpy are external libraries which can be downloaded installed into your system then the next thing we need to have after having been exported these three packages the next step now is to input the parameters for the problem what are the parameters our lower bound the upper bound and lower bound so our upper bound which i call ub is 15. then our lower bound h is 0 lb then our h can h be very small value here we call it 0.1 then we need to get our n which is the upper bound minus the lower bound then divide this by h this value will return a decimal number and but we need all numbers so so that we need to truncate the decimal point after the whole number so we do that by introduce by writing the int function that will convert this result into integer and remove and discard the, des the, the, the the numbers after the decimal point so we have our old numbers which now is n the number of linear in this space value of x between the interval 0 to 15. so again x we need to have np dot zeros we need to get a sequence of values of x from 0 to 15 n numbers of them so by using the, the, the we have import a package called the numpy or call it np inside this numpy there is a method called zeros so this will actually create a sequence of numbers we want to have a sequence of numbers n of them m number of them that means x not x1 x x3 x4 x5 f6 up to x and all of them will be zeros that's our initial then all similarly we'll say y is np zeros we want to make a sequence of values of n for all our solution to be zero before we start updating the values then these are the parameters we have the upper bound 15 in this problem the lower bound is zero then our h can be any value close to zero it can be 0 0.01 0 0.002 
whatsoever then here we get our number of linear space values of x in the interval then we initialize all our value of x and y to be zeros within from the number of n then the, the third step is the initial boundary condition we like where we say y no, y the value of y at x is equal to zero is zero and that value of x equals to zero is actually the first value of x so we see y see our y zero that is equals to zero that means the first values of y to be zero that is the first boundary condition we have since this y is the first differential equation we need only one boundary condition so no need to apply another boundary condition so the first value of y has to be zero if to say this value was four then i will put y zero will be four so all the other initial values will be zero except the first value but in this case our first value of y has to be zero that's why we put zero then the next the fourth step is now the for loop now for the for loop for i in range for i in range i in range from one to n from i to n so what we need to do since we have already taken care of the not values the first value so we'll start from the next that is this is the first value of y then we need to move to the second the third up to the nth value so uh, for in the for loop there we need to update our value of y to get the next value so we say y the next value of y is equals to the previous value of y minus one here then plus our h this is h multiplied by exponential that we import here exponential esp the open bracket we have this previous value of y minus the previous value of x so i have previous value of y y open bracket i minus one then minus the previous value of x i minus one that is what we have the, the next value of y is the previous value of y plus h times exponential previous value of y minus previous value of x that is ex exactly what we have here from the values of one up to what n then the, then the last thing under the the loop is to update x so we say the next value of x the next value of x will be equals to the previous value of x plus h so we have these values so for i in the range this was the reason this we update the values and that then from there then the last step is to plot so we need to go back we import the plotting library and we call it plt on this plt there is a method called plot to plot our values on the horizontal axis which is x which is the value of x here and then y this value of x y have been updated so the current values will now the final values will now be after this loop so x on the x axis y on the vertical axis then that's what we have the next thing we need to have is to give it a title we say plt dot dot title is also a method then we we'll put them in code then we we'll write it will say a graph a graph of y against 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 x similarly we say plt then we need to label the x-axis plt label the x-axis we write plt x label axis then we quote we put x then on the on the y label on the y axis so we label so y label they will label it in code we call it y then f i think finally we can now show our graph to see what we have so let's cross check 
from the beginning we import the numpy i will call it np we import the matplotlib library which we call plt in order to, for us to plot our solution from the inbuilt mat module in the python we import a, a function called exponential our upper bound is 15 lower bound is 0 our step height is 0 0.1 our n is upper bound minus lower bound divided by h which will truncate the, 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 the digit after the point so we'll return the old numbers we initialize all our value of x to be 0 initialize all our value of y to be zeros then our initial condition at x equals to 0 y is 0 then we update the values of y and x the next is a previous this and that and then the next value of x is a previous value of x plus h then finally we plot our solution we plot x y the first variable is the values on the x axis and the second variable is the values on the vertical axis we will give our graph a title a graph of y against x we we'll label the x axis label this and that then we we'll see finally we we'll click on show so let's see what we have so you can see the answer is actually correct we get a straight line passing from zero all the way up with a slope of one which is exactly same thing as the exact solution that's all for this video